And he's because because look, this is Nick Nick Young, 11 years in the league. Um, you're going to turn 33 on Friday, so your early birthday present is a trip to the NBA Finals on Thursday. What does this feel like to do this with this bunch? Um, I got a hat, as you can see, yeah. T-shirt, and um, yeah, I'm not holding the trophy. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> now, what's what's it mean to get there at this point? Oh, it means the world to me. Um, I don't really want to be interviewed right now. I want to go turn up. <laughs> I really want to go have some fun, but you interrupted my moment. But, um, yeah, thank y'all for doing this stuff, okay? Remember, uh, hold on, okay. Rem go have some fun. I don't want to talk to you. Okay, remember, rem remember this date in NBA history, the day Nick Young said he didn't want to be interviewed. The Golden State Warriors are champions of the West. They will meet the Cleveland Cavaliers on Thursday. Congratulations, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Ernie. Also, one other uh, stat passed on by our stat people, uh, Jeff Paris. This was the largest halftime deficit. Warriors down by 11 at the half ever overcome in a Game 7 win by the road team. And now here are the Warriors for the fourth straight year going mm -hmm. up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. That never happened in professional sports where the same two teams met for a championship four straight years. Reggie, Chris Hetty see the final and obviously it starts with LeBron James for Cleveland and what he has done this year played every game last night played his hundredth game and he found ways to win with that team people saying arguably the GOAT the greatest of all time that's subjective everyone can think what they want to think but I will say this about LeBron James what he has done for Cleveland for that franchise for that city with a mid-season mid trade with those young guys coming in, and a lot of them don't play, right? And it's all been about Kevin Love, who was out with a concussion, and Jeff Green. It's going to be an unbelievable final once again because of LeBron James and the history between these two franchises. And the trust that we have in LeBron. I mean, people thought he was out the first round, Toronto. The second round, yeah. people thought. And just to be able to watch, you want to say his maturity, but he's been this mature, it seems like, since day one in the league. Going to be exciting. The coaching matchup between Coach Lou and also Coach Kerr. But what the Warriors did tonight, that poise, coming back from a record deficit, man, that's special. It's, I, I can't wait. And should be a compelling final once again with uh, Mike Green, Jeff Van Gundy, Mark Jackson, yes. Doris Burke on ABC. And in closing, I've so enjoyed the season once again, yes. guys. Yes. With Reggie, the voice, Greg Merkowitz won. The marvelous has been great. <laughs> Thanks to our whole crew, entire group, just fantastic, led by Scott Cockrell, our producer and director, Andrew Greathouse. That uh, does it for us after a quick break inside the NBA. Presented by Kia continues live from Houston with Ernie Kenny Charles and Shaq.